Well, hello, fellow gamer thugs. I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm pretty much surprised and blown away by the fact that we are gonna witness the PlayStation 5 gameplay. It's actually a tech demo from Unreal Engine 5. I mean, this is the first time we're being introduced to the Unreal Engine 5, which will, you know, pretty much make a lot of cool games in the future. Well, the coolest thing is we're gonna experience this gameplay on PlayStation 5, man. So let's hop in. Let's watch this. Alright, but the facial animation looks a little bit different. And oh my god, look at the graphics, guys. Look at the lighting. It's not just about the graphics. Look at just oh man, this looks amazing. Did you guys just see the stones? All these little rocks. You know, on the left side of the video, it's just, oh, they just interact. And, well, look at the textures. They're not, they're not like some random textures, like a full plane on it. Each and every rock, each and every one of them, man, we can see it. I mean, the developer says that it's like a 8K textures, and, whoa, that's pretty much everything, right? And look, it's so photorealistic. That, that realism is what something we expect from the next generation games. And just look at this. I mean, looking at this is so amazing. Oh, they're breaking down. They're breaking down the visuals now. This isn't noise. These are the wow. triangles, each a different color. Most are so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves detail down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the size of pixels. This amount of geometric detail requires shadows to be pixel accurate as well, and Nanite can do that too. Speaking well, of lighting, and now the developer is talking about lighting, I'm, I'm already dynamic. like, <laughs> oh my god, that even includes look at that. Global illumination. No light maps, no baking. Whoa, <laughs> look Without at this breakdown. GI, all of that beautiful light. Hey guys, come on, man! This is this is crazy. This looks so real. Look at the way the light passes down. I mean, the developer is actually moving it, but look at the way the textures and the environment react to that lighting. It's so realistic. Now we're progressing through to the next stage, I guess. And the physics, man, is really blown away. It's. I would say it's like Uncharted, Lost Legacy. Maybe we played with Chloe a lot, <laughs> right? Yeah. You guys getting a lot of memories from that? Yeah. Like actual Look at the physics. And Look at her tippy toes, man, just adjusting to the textures on the on the ground and the lighting. I'm still. I just want to keep on talking about the lighting. This is massive. Hey, but look at this. We got a little passage to pass through, just like in Star Wars. I would say. I mean, these are like the cheekiest things in gaming. You know, if you wanna, if you don't wanna see a loading screen, and if you still wanna uh, see the next place with high graphic fidelity, then this is the way you gotta pass through so that we can load the next area. But we expect this to be not present in the next generation. But maybe this is something part of this gameplay. I would say. Look at the graphics, the textures, and everything. I don't know what resolution is this, but it's massive, man. We've also added a ton of new functionality. Wow, wow! Now the developer talks about the fluid simulation inside the water. I mean, like walking on the water. It's so realistic, just like in real life. Man, just look at the physics, man. It's like too much. It's real. Look at the way her legs, her hands, and look at the way she covers her from the debris. From the debris, Demo I would say. On our chaos physics system. Wow, Here wow, we are wow. Using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the yes, falling right? rocks and the cloth of the. Well, we got a little paint, you know, uh, for, for the some kind of. Uh, this is how we should go. You know, there are a lot of paints and stuff, and this is something we have seen already in Tomb Raider, right? Yeah. Now that the environment is so complex, wow. we've needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping. Did you guys hear what the developer said? Yeah. And body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact. Man, the lighting is too much, man. It's so good. Well, look at look at the textures. Look at the textures on our on our torso and the dress. Wow. Dynamic and whoa, 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 whoa. guys, you gotta see this. Look at the light just travels past these, you know, little bumps on the textures and those statues in, uh, on our sides. And look at the way the light passes on our neck and hair, you know. Which you can see on all the metal surfaces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like the developer said, the bugs react to the way you just move the light. 
Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes. Guys, the this is oh, this is too much, man. This is like we gotta talk about this. Look at the way those particles, those rocks, individually falling down. It's like a real rock falling down, not Remember just a texture or just planes falling down in the same manner. And look at the way the light bounces on the statue. This big statue is like a freaking global illumination thing going on. All the bounce lights and everything, even the character having the light right now. This is massive, man. And we can do that is pretty much a ray tracing thing, I guess. Yeah. Nearly five Look at the bounce light. That exact statue Man. At the same detail level placed in this room for a total wow, of wow, wow. Did you just hear what the developer said? The yeah, 16 alone. million triangles on the statues alone. <laughs> that is like too much. Over this entire demo, wow. there are hundreds of billions of triangles. And one more thing I gotta tell you guys, this is a tech demo, it's not a part of any game yet, I guess. It's everything in the development and this this is demo this demo is only for the developers. They are showing showcasing the potential of their engine and the one more cool thing is uh, it's uh, it's playing on a PlayStation 5 man. This is the first official video. Hey, oh my god, look at this guys. Oh. Look at the light passes, man. This is like so real, it's like a movie thing going on here. It's not like a video game. If this is what the next generation is, I mean, even the beginning of the life cycle of the PlayStation 5, oh my god, look at this, look at this texture, look at the lighting, man, it's so movie thingy going on here, it's not a game, and uh, one more thing I gotta tell you guys is, this is a, you know, uh, a live render, it's not a, it's not a freaking cutscene, it's not a cinematic, or anything, I mean, it's like, a, it is a cutscene, it's not a cinematic, though. And look at the textures, look at the graphics and everything, the fidelity, the visual, the light passes through each and everything, and the particles, you know, uh, they just react to your environment, and this is like massive. And look at the worlds, man, look at the draw distance and everything. Look at the way light passes through each and everything, even in the far part of the map. Whoa, she just fell down. Whoa, she could fly? Man, this game is cool. I mean, it's like a demo, but it's not a part of any game yet, but... Guys, there are no texture pop-ins. That is the first thing you guys gotta notice. There are no texture pop-ins, there are no loading screens, there are nothing loading, you know, while playing the game. It's everything is preloaded, man. That's the you know the custom SSD Sony makes. But that's pretty much what the Xbox do, so wow, this is so cool. The textures and the animation and the realistic movement of the character model and the and the you know particle acceleration, this is massive guys. Time to see wow, she goes through the portal, and what happens next? Oh, okay, okay, so that's the end of a little demo we, we just saw here, that's from the Unreal Engine 5, and wow, we are blown away, man, me and my friends, uh, this is crazy, this is absolutely amazing, guys. All I want to tell you guys, all, all I want to tell you guys, gamer thugs, man, we have a major treat. This is gonna be massive. In the future, it's gonna be a massive years for gaming, I would say. It's gonna be amazing, and I wanna, I wanna tell you guys, how, how do you guys feel about the, uh, about this little tech demo, and it runs on the PlayStation 5 from the Unreal, Unreal Engine 5, and I want you guys to uh, say in the comments below, how do you feel about the new video and the new uh, gameplay we got. It's still a tech demo, but still, man, we are just more than satisfied, I would say. Alright guys, thank you for watching and hope you guys like this feed. So like, comment, share and subscribe. And Gamer Talks, we're out. See you in the next video. Goodbye now guys.